Hey Capricorn, welcome to another love reading for May 2023. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's go ahead and get started. If this does not resonate, feel free to check your other placements. All right, Cappy, let's go ahead and see what you can expect here for the month of May 2023. God, angels, Holy Spirit, clear messages for Capricorn. What can Capricorn expect here? One more. What can Capricorn expect? May 2023. All right. Okay, Capricorn, under the deck you have obsession. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. Stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. Forgiveness. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. Finances. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. So Capricorn, what I'm picking up on is that there's a need for forgiveness here. And I feel like this is from your end. All right. Forgiving doesn't always mean you need to take a person back or, you know, be friends with them again. Whatever the situation may be, there's a need for forgiveness. In order to attract new love, Capricorn, I'm feeling the energy of needing to forgive. Okay, forgive, let go, release, so the new can come in here. I do feel that there is a connection here. You may already be dealing with this person. If not, you may be connecting with someone new here in the month of May, Capricorn, where it could lead to, you know, a lot of stability here. Long term. Some of you could be worried about finances, or if you're in a connection, maybe there's financial issues, challenges here could be affecting the connection. Maybe, you know, one of you make a significant more amount. And I'm also feeling the energy where someone in your past Capricorn is obsessing about you. They want to know what you're doing, what you've been up to. Someone is obsessed with you after hearing that. All right, let's go ahead and see what else can you expect. Capricorn, the month of May 2023. Spirit. What else can Capricorn expect? What else can Capricorn expect here? Yeah, someone is obsessed with you, okay? So I feel like someone from your past Capricorn is wanting to get revenge. They've been stalking you. They've been obsessing about you. They feel like they need to get payback for something. Okay, this could also be a friend around your energy. Spirit is saying protect your energy at this time because, you know, this, someone could be wearing a false mask. Ignore, okay? Spirit is saying ignore. I feel like someone here is feeling embarrassed for the way they acted, for the way that they treated you. False appearances, I'm hearing. I also feel like, you know, if you have not met your twin flame, Capricorn, you could be meeting your twin flame very soon. Or some of you could already be dealing with a twin flame. This toxic person could be in your family. I'm just throwing that out there. I'm just throwing out all the messages I'm getting Capricorn, okay? So I feel like, you know, if this is not an ex-partner or a friend, it could be someone in your family circle where you cannot trust this person. They're trying to get revenge, pay back for something, embarrass you for something. They could be feeling threatened, and that's why they're doing that. So take it how it resonates, Capricorn, but this is what I'm picking up on. See, give me one more, Capricorn. Oh, okay. Unquenchable wanting more. So someone around your energy could be wanting more. I'm hearing wanting more than friends. I want to be more than friends. Someone's thirsty for you. Very specific message. Yeah, and you have commitment. All right. Some of you could be single, but I don't feel like that will be, you know, for very much longer here, Capricorn. Okay. I feel like there is a long-term commitment coming in here for you. Some of you may have been worried that you'll stay single forever, that you'll never get married. And Spirit is saying that you're wrong. It's a matter of time. Okay. Let's go ahead and get to the tarot cards here. What can Capricorn expect May 2023? Guiding just Holy Spirit. What can Capricorn expect? What can Capricorn expect? What can 
Capricorn expect? Wow, beautiful energy here. Six of Swords, Strength, and the Wheel of Fortune. The Strength card is in reverse. Some of you could be connecting with a Leo. And I'm also picking up on Gemini, Virgo, Aries, or fixed sign here. Now Capricorn. I feel like in the month of May, you are moving into calmer waters here. Some of you may be thinking, planning to travel here, okay? Um, I see you kind of getting away, taking some time for yourself, avoiding the drama, avoiding the conflict. It's like you don't have the strength to even deal with certain energy, certain people anymore. And I feel that with the Wheel of Fortune, things are about to turn into your favor here. They're about to go in your favor. You're about to receive some good karma. Very specific message. There's something you did for someone, Capricorn. Maybe this person didn't value it. They don't appreciate it. Could have been multiple things that you did. And I feel like spirit, you know, the universe is about to reward you for the, your good deeds. While somebody else will be receiving bad karma. But there's definitely something here that you've done in the past where it took a lot of your strength. You're like, oh, okay, uh, well, I want to help this person or I want to be the bigger person or, you know, do a lot. You did a lot for someone or something and you're about to be rewarded for that. What can Capricorn expect here in love? What can Capricorn expect here in love? I feel like you're about to meet someone unexpectedly or something unexpected is about to happen when it comes to your love life. Tell me more. Capricorn, what can Capricorn expect when it comes to love? May 2023. God, I'm just Spirit. Give me clear messages. Okay, Two of Swords. Eight of Swords. And the Nine of Pentacles. All right, here's the thing, Capricorn. Your worst enemy is yourself. Okay, that's what I'm feeling right now. You might have been trapped in your mind. There could have been past traumas, past experiences that you've had, people, situations, things that you've had to walk away from the past, which is making you feel a little bit hopeless. It's making you feel like, oh, I'm just trapped. Um, I'll never be able to find love or I'll never be able to, you know, self-limiting beliefs. That's what I'm picking up on. And Spirit is saying, get out of your head here. Take the blindfold off. Take the blindfold off Capricorn. Why am I saying this? Because you have the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles. You're getting all of this attention, all of this abundance, but you're not seeing it. You're not seeing it. Okay. And, and spirit is saying, look around. Look how many options you have. Look how beautiful you are or how handsome you are. Okay. So take the blindfold off. Break those self-limiting beliefs. Because I feel like this is you getting in your own way. All right, Capricorn, tell me more. What can Capricorn expect here? So I'm not even going to acknowledge these two cards, Capricorn, because I feel like this is your energy, okay, where you're feeling trapped in your own mind, trapped in your own thoughts, overthinking, maybe um, reliving the past, you know, with Mercury retrograde and all the stuff that's been going around astrologically. You know, it makes sense here. But I'm going to go ahead and focus on this Nine of Pentacles. Let's see, tell me more. Some of you may be changing your appearance, doing something, uh, changing habits, breaking free from addictions, diet, changing your diet, connecting more with nature. Let's see, tell me more, Capricorn. What can Capricorn expect in love? May 2023. See? The star card. The star card, Capricorn. Aquarius. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, meeting an Aquarius. This is your wishes coming true. Staying true to yourself, finding yourself, connecting with yourself. You're about to have a wish come true and you don't even see this coming. The only negative thing I'm seeing so far, Capricorn, is, you know, get out of your own head. Break free from certain cycles, break free from certain situations, things, whatever it may be here. Because there's a wish coming true here for you. Tell me more. What can Capricorn expect in love? Tell me more about the star card. Remain hopeful when it comes to your love life. Four of Pentacles. You're letting go of what no longer serves you. You're letting go of people, places, or things. Beautiful. I like to see this. Some of you may be thinking about traveling. And then here's a Ten of Pentacles. You will be financially stable. You might be receiving an inheritance this month, unexpected income, a raise, or this is you meeting someone 
where it will lead to a long-term commitment for some of you, marriage, children, all that stuff, okay? Who is coming towards Capricorn? Who is coming towards Capricorn? Who is coming towards Capricorn, please? Who is coming towards Capricorn? Who is coming towards Capricorn, please? Thank you, please. Okay, I see you having options. You may have to choose between two to three people, Capricorn. The Three of Cups did want to show its face. I feel like people are going to be wanting to spend time with you, hang out with you, ask you on dates. So be on the lookout for that. Capricorn. Okay. The Hermit wanted to show its face. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo here in the month of May. Who is coming towards Capricorn? Page of Wands and Aries Leo Sagittarius, possibly. You could have fire in your chart. I see something new happening here for you, Capricorn. Something that's going to make you very happy. The Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment here. I see a lot of flirtatious energy here as well. Tell me more. Capricorn. Capricorn. Ten of uh, Wands. Some of you could be moving, all right? I'm also picking up on traveling, moving. You could be leaving the burdens behind here, releasing what no longer worked out. Some of you may be thinking about starting a new course, a new class, a new job, a new relationship here. Capricorn love, Capricorn love. What can Capricorn expect? May 2023, what can Capricorn expect? What can Capricorn expect? Three of Wands. Some of you could be meeting someone at a distance, but I see you traveling, enjoying yourself, having fun, wise. I see you being very wise here. Again, some of you have an option between, some of you have to make a decision between two to three people. I see you standing like the Empress here. Some of you may be getting pregnant this month, but I'm not really picking up that message. Pretty heavy. So very, very few of you. If you're not looking to get pregnant, of course, take the necessary precautions. But this is you just standing wise. You know, I said wise and the Empress showed its face. So... Learning from past experiences, being able to help others, being grounded in your power. Libra, Taurus, some of you could be meeting a Libra, Taurus. I'm picking up on Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius for some of you, Leo. We're dealing with those signs here. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Someone here might be giving you flowers in the month of May. Something specific about flowers or asking you on a date. This person could have a tattoo. They could have like something about horses, uh, Converse, Vans, sneakers. They may really like to wear black shirts. A picnic. Maybe this person will ask you to want a picnic. So I see somebody asking you on a date here. One more. Capricorn. What can Capricorn expect here in love? Queen of Pentacles. This is you. Some of you could be meeting a Capricorn Virgo Taurus or dealing with another Earth sign here and the King of Wands. Wow, Capricorn. Here's the thing. <laughs> oh my God, I'm seeing a lot of people in your energy. Capricorn, some of you may have to make a decision between a Earth sign, Fire sign, and an Air sign. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm going to be real with you here. I feel like this is you minding your own business. And then you have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, I feel like, you know... And, you know, what's interesting is that I feel like these people want something serious with you. They want long-term with you. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, someone who has Taurus in their chart. This person may have, like, they might be older than you. They might have, like, long hair. Man bun. I'm picking up on man bun. You know, it's interesting because I'm seeing three people. And this is, like, for my females out there. I'm seeing someone with a fade. And then I'm seeing someone with, like, just, like, you know, regular... Not like long hair, but like just medium, like, you know, like either spiky or like pulled back a little bit. And then I'm seeing somebody with long hair, man bun. So I don't know who these people are, Capricorn, but you may have more than one option for sure here. And they're all wanting your attention. I see you're getting a lot of attention here in the month of May. Yeah, so, you know, I don't know what you're going to do here, Capricorn, but I see you standing very confident, very powerful, very attractive. Very, very attractive. Those of you who have a business, I see it doing very well. 
in the month of May as well here, okay? All right, Capricorn, so now take this moment to think about your love interest. I'm gonna go ahead and see what it is that they wanna tell you, okay? Let's see what the hidden truth is about the person on your mind. All right, Capricorn. What does this person on Capricorn's mind want to say? This Holy Spirit, what do they want to say? Also, I have a specific message. This just randomly came to my mind right now. This Two of Swords and this Eight of Swords that showed up here in your current energies, Capricorn. If this is not you, this isn't someone from your past. They feel trapped and they feel lost without you. That was a very specific message that just came through right now. All right. Because some of you are genuinely very happy right now. And there's someone around your energy who feels very trapped in their mind for making a poor decision. For not valuing you. Yeah, very specific message. All right, let's move on. Capricorn. What does this person want to tell Capricorn? You were the best thing in my life. What did I say? Oh my gosh. So someone from your past is coming to the realization that yes, you were the best thing in their life, okay? And they look for you everywhere here. Very nostalgic, very nostalgic about you. Capricorn, what does this person want to tell Capricorn? Capricorn's love interests. Capricorn's love interests. We both know I am not the one for you. So I feel like this is like an ex or past energy. This person feels like you're too good for them. And I feel you leaving me behind. Mm -hmm. There you go, Capricorn. Um, I hid who I really am from you. So I feel like this person was like slightly fake. Okay, I don't know why I felt that energy, like a fake individual. And now they're feeling dumb for not being authentic, for not being true. And they see you getting a lot of attention, Capricorn, or at least they sense it. And now they feel salty. So, oh well, it is what it is, right, Capricorn? But this was your love reading for May 2023. If it did not resonate, feel free to check the other placements. Thank you to all my loyal subscribers who continue to love and support my channel. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.